Hi everyone, I'm Emily and today I'll be making a resin shaker based on Mariah Elizabeth's oris original character, Georgie, the pineapple duck. So I'm going to start by mixing up some resin and I've got some white paint here that I'm going to get all over my table really quick. And then I'll stir that up after cleaning it. Then just like the squishy she made, I'm going to make a greenish teal color. And I'll use my heat gun to get rid of the bubbles. And I'll pour it into the mold. the resin is done curing, I'm going to take it out of the mold, but I think I tried to take it out a little bit too early because it was really, really bendy at this point. But eventually I do get it out, and as you can see there's a little bit of overhang, and I don't think my table, table was level either. So I'm going to use an X-Acto knife to cut off the excess, but be careful with the knife. Don't cut towards yourself like I was doing. And once it's all cleaned up, I'm going to paint this green part with some blue paint. I'll mix up some white and blue. And then I'll apply it to the screen. It'll take you a few coats, quite a few coats. And once that's dry, it's finally time to draw Georgie on here. So I've got some Posca pens and I'm just going to try to get the um, drawing as close as possible to the original. I think it went okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to say that I'm really inspired by Mariah's work. Like, I aspire to be like her in my videos. I know I'm far from it. Like, she's an amazing editor, and my editing is not quite there yet. And she's very funny, and I'm not quite there yet either. But um, her growth pretty much inspires me to keep on working on my craft and improving it as much as I can and I just want to thank her for that by making this piece. And also, Georgie is probably my most favorite original character by Mariah. I mean, ducklings are adorable, pineapples are delicious and also adorable. <laughs> and um, I thought it was perfect to be translated into a shaker charm since this mold is pretty popular in the shaker world and the squishy she made I mean it was it's so easy to replicate in this form so that's pretty much why I decided to do this video and I'm having a lot of fun by the way <laughs> There we go. I think I got it pretty close. So next thing I'll do is um, apply some UV resin to this because I don't want the paint to get scratched off by any of the um, things that I'll be adding into the shaker. So I'm just going to add a thin coat of the resin and you don't have to worry about getting it too smooth because the oil we're going to add to the shaker is going to remove any of the waves that you might see. And then I'm going to use my lighter to get rid of any air bubbles. And now for my favorite part, adding in the glitters. So I'll be adding various glitters and pearls and all sorts of fun stuff. And I got these new beads. I'm starting a bead collection which is a great idea for crafts, but a bad idea for money. <laughs> and um, I'm going to, of course, add sprinkles. I couldn't make this without sprinkles. And 
I also have these female slices that I believe are pineapples, but I'm not really sure. They look pineapple-esque. And next, I'm going to trace a rectangle of transparency film to cover the shaker with. To attach the transparency film to the shaker, I'm going to use some UV resin. I'll apply a thin layer and spread it a little bit using a toothpick. And to remove the, um, the Sharpie from the transparency film, I used some rubbing alcohol, and that's a good way to remove any other dirt or fingerprints. And then after curing that in the lamp, I'm going to add the baby oil. And then I'm going to spill it. Um, very unfortunate, but take two. But here's take two. I'll clean off any oil that's on the shaker using rubbing alcohol and then I'll fill the hole using some more UV resin. Now it's time to dome the shaker. This will be my first time using this technique. I'm going to apply a layer of liquid latex to the edges and the bottom of the shaker. The parts, basically the parts where you don't want to get any resin on. And now I'm going to pour on my resin after allowing it to sit to thicken for about 15 minutes. And also that will help some of the air bubbles go out, degas themselves too. So I'm using the popsicle stick to move around the resin. And it's okay if it spills over because we got our liquid latex on there. And I almost forgot to mention that to fill in the buttons, I used some UV resin and then I colored them in using Posca pens. The resin is cured and now it's time to peel off the liquid latex to see how it turned out. There were some parts I didn't get um, latex on enough, I think, so there was some overhang, but I will fix that eventually. But for now, I'm going to start attaching the keychain parts. So I'm going to glue on a silver bale onto the back of the shaker, and I got this pineapple charm and some beads I'm going to add onto the keychain as well. So um, I needed to change the ring on the pineapple and then I, 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 broke, I broke it. <laughs> and so now I'm just gonna fix it with the super glue and firmly press on the leaves and drop it really quick and then firmly press on the leaves and then it's fixed. And now I'm going to make a little um, bead sequence thing. So I got the largest clear one, the smaller clear one, and then a um, teal one. And then I'm going to fold the um, the head pin in 90 degree in a 90 degree angle, and cut off the excess. And then I'm going to wrap it around so it's um, a loop, which was kind of difficult for me. So I cut it out, but eventually I got it. And now I'm going to start attaching everything.
At this point, I'm super excited because I think it's turning out really well. I was a little bit nervous earlier on in the project that it wouldn't be very good, and since I'm making this for someone else to really enjoy, um, I really wanted to make sure it's the best I could have made it. But right now, I'm thinking it's going really well. And now it's finally done. I'm super happy with how it turned out. The charms I went, I put with it are cute and I think the shaker is really accurate to the original Squishy. And if you see this Mariah, um, I hope you enjoy it and I would be glad to send this to you in the mail as well. And if anybody else enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And you can also visit my Instagram, which is at eCraftingWorld. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.